Right. And a gift you can't put a price tag on, how two strangers gave the gift of life to a woman, an inspiring health alert you'll want to stay up for. Well, this is the time of year our thoughts are on gifts, but probably not the kind you're about to see. In tonight's health alert, how two strangers gave the gift of life to a woman from Alpharetta and how she's now using that second chance to help others. Here it is. Today, Lauren Donker is the picture of perfect health. My health now is great. I, I feel fantastic. But two years ago, while expecting her first child, she found herself fighting for her life. I was in my final weeks of pregnancy and I developed high blood pressure. Doctors performed an emergency C-section at Northside Hospital. The baby was healthy, but within hours, Lauren was diagnosed with a life-threatening condition called HELP syndrome. My um, liver actually ruptured in two places following um, the delivery of my daughter and then my kidneys completely failed. She was rushed to Piedmont Hospital for the first of two liver transplants. They couldn't find a match, so doctors accepted a liver that wasn't her blood type. It helped me. It kept me alive for a while, and I got a little bit stronger following that transplant, but it just wasn't a good match long term. So they decided to go ahead with a second transplant. Doctors sedated Lauren to help her heal, and when she woke up, her daughter, Allie, was already five weeks old. It was really hard. I woke up and um, I really felt like I just had her. I didn't feel like it had been that long. Lauren spent three months in the hospital and only a few minutes with her baby each week. And we actually put this album together when I was in the hospital. Fast forward to 2008. Lauren has fully recovered. And this year, she celebrated Allie's second birthday and her 30th. I consider myself to be in perfect health. I do everything that I did before I was sick, so it's, it's pretty incredible. She even competed in the U.S. transplant games in Pittsburgh. I won a silver medal in tennis, and um, I intend to go back in two years and try and beat the woman who got the gold. And now that she's healthy, Lauren is making it her mission to help others in need. She and her husband, Nick, started an annual golf tournament to raise money for other transplant patients. In two years, we've raised um, over $45,000. I think people need to be aware of the lives that it transforms and the people that it saves and helps because it really is an amazing thing. And today, Lauren's looking forward to Christmas with her husband and little girl. She's excited about Christmas, but she's terrified of Santa Claus. Okay, tell us. Then she'll fly to California to ring in 2009. Lauren won an essay contest and a seat on the Donate Life float in the Rose Bowl Parade. My life was saved by transplant, and without the amazing families that made the decision to donate their loved one's organs, my daughter would be growing up without ever knowing her mother. And as for her New Year's resolution? I think even though I've been doing so well, I really do need to get in better shape and you know, try and do everything I possibly can to make the most of this second chance I've been given. Now, right now, there are more than 250 Georgians waiting for liver transplants. It's the second most common transplant procedure. And Piedmont Hospital is one of only two liver transplant programs in this state. Dr. Raymond Rubin is Lauren's liver specialist. He says the need for donors is great, and becoming a potential donor can be as easy as just telling a loved one. I think one of the most important things to do to be able to expand the number of potential donors is for people to have frank conversations with their family. More than 100,000 Americans need some sort of transplant. For more information on how to become a potential donor or details on Piedmont's program, go to our website, cbs46.com. Click on the Health tab. You'll find it on the left-hand side of our homepage. Very lucky lady. Oh, yeah. She's going to get that family. gold. Yeah, I know. Wish her success when <laughs> yeah. she goes back to beat the lady and, with the gold. And look for her it. in the Rose Bowl parade. She'll yeah, be there front right. and center. Dagmar, it is freezing Ooh. outside, literally. Yeah. <laughs>